Hello, hello, hello. How's it going, Aaron? How you doing? Doing all right. Got the vast majority of my semester wrapped up, oh. so what a way to celebrate doing ridiculous things like this. Yeah, doing yeah, right. shit like this. Um, so I'm told you have never cubed it. So Aaron's familiar with magic, but hasn't cube drafted per se, but knows what it is, right? You ready to hear what this <laughs> yes, format I, I, is? I, I, I was I was around when the magics were young. Thank you. <laughs> So this format is a new thing that I've only now played once, and I don't know if I mm -hmm. like it as much as regular cube draft, but, you know, in a typical draft, you open up a pack, you take a thing, you pass it, whatever, and that cube cube is just a word for, for everybody who doesn't know, like the most insane good magic cards in magic history rather than a draft of, like, one the new set or something like that. So that was that's this mo mode of playing. I love it. Supreme cube draft is another thing they just came up with where instead of drafting with other people, you're actually drafting by yourself. And yes, <laughs> yeah, pausing a Thomas podcast to watch the stream. So we're 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 drafting by yourself, Aaron, and we're opening a cube pack of uh it might still be 15 cards, I don't remember, and picking two cards from each pack. And we only get to see 18 packs. So you end up with a 36 card deck, I guess. It's a little weird. I ended up with no sideboard, which is interesting. Um, weird. Uh, to the question in the chat, the answer is yes. They go on. Uh, they can go on the Patreon post announcing it, or in the in the mm. Facebook group. Cool questions for the void Q and A. Yeah, void Q and A. So let's see how this goes. Last one, I went two and one, and I didn't play a game. It was weird. Like I had two early forfeits of games, and then I like I played a tiny bit of Magic. This is an intense, weird. <laughs> format you'll you'll see it's uh so, so you're ahead. drafting you said you're drafting against yourself well not against somewhere? yourself you only draft by yourself and then you play other people afterward but we all like each person has done a draft I the see. draft portion by themselves so, so so the drafting can happen um anytime yes yeah, synchronously and they've changed yeah. to that recently in magic online they changed to that so that's a league format rather than a draft pod format so because people would have before people had to always sit down and finish the whole thing because you have to play the people in your pod. They changed to like a league format where you draft in a pod of eight people, but you don't have to play them. You can play any time, which is – it kind of sucks. The trade-off is in a normal draft, you would have known what other people took. You're like, oh, I passed this card, so the person to my right got that. So you don't have that in this. Okay. And not only that, in this format, that you can get multiples of the same card. So I, the last game I had two Force of Wills. <laughs> It was uh, it was interesting. So wow. let's join and see what goes on. Okay. Oh well, we got a piece of power here. We got a mock, so that's a must take. Do you recognize any of these cards? How? Uh, when did you sure, ever course, play? Yeah, yeah Jace is amazing. Jace, of course, is overpowered as fuck. If we want to do a um, combo, but here's the thing: I thought this might be a good. Hello from Marcino. I thought this might be a good. Um, chance to do like combo stuff, you know, because it's overpowered as hell. Like these draft decks are even, or these decks are even more powerful than a regular cube draft. But I also right. don't know. It didn't look like I had any combo ability last time. But I, so like if I was going combo, I'd take high tide. I think this one's also actually. I always I always avoid combo. Yeah. Lean towards combos and drafts because it's just never you never get that inside I know. straight that you actually. Oh no, I know it's very much so that you chase it. <laughs> and hey oh to gomes oh i'm so glad yeah i decided because aaron was the guest i posted uh, in, in eastern east coast time um okay <laughs> our power is about to go off which means my oh my god off, are you serious well, how switching you... over our power because of the um solar panels that we put on the roof uh... so i make it shut out here for a second okay but back. you'll dial back in okay I mean, Jace is yes, very I am tempting. A guest to help with my names. Okay, I only have a minute to I, make I think the other Jace pick. Jace is, is, is a strong choice. I yeah, also, Jace I actually think choice. Flooded and Strand is is you won't need your mana fixing in Cube. Um, Flooded Strand is mm -hmm. a good one. Mm -hmm. uh, so we don't want to go nuts and try to go combo. Dig through time is actually also quite good. Do you want to go with Jace? We can go with Jace. Jason would definitely have to take the mocks. What do you think? Do you want Jace or Flooded Strand? You can you can help me out here. Oh, oh, he froze. Okay. I thought he was just really thinking. Uh, but no, he froze. 
I think he, he I, I'm going to go ahead and say that Aaron wanted, hey, Heather, yay. I'm going to say that Aaron wanted Jace. Jace is a great, great pick. Nothing wrong with a Jace. Oh, we get a time walk. That's the second time I've had time walk, and uh, it's always a good card. I'm never going to pass a time walk. Oh, I love remand. But I, I find myself making the same deck every time. This is what I get. I get locked into these decks. Oh, man, Heather and Teresa on one stream. What a lucky guy. I hope you enjoy my bullshit nerd content. <laughs> By the way, Heather and Teresa, I really want to get a codename stream going on here. That would be so fun, but we got to wait until after the OA fundraiser. We're kind of maxed out with that stuff. Oh, we got a weird hair thing going on. My hair piece. What is, what is that? Okay, there we go. Uh, I love how Aaron... <laughs> I'm going to leave Aaron on there for the rest of my stream. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's really... Aaron is either frozen or intensely judging us, like intensely. I didn't know Discord did this where it just, it just, look, this is a, oh, you're here to learn. Okay, Heather, apologies if you're here to learn about magic. This is the absolute worst possible magic format. To, this is like the most intense advanced magic format, and it's really hard. Like, it's, it's just so much going on. It's all the most difficult random cards uh, in the, uh, in the whole magic universe. So Caracas is really good. I love remand. I feel like I just drop into the same patterns. What is this one? You control your opponents while they're searching their libraries. Whoa, that's interesting. Okay, finally dropped off. I don't think I'm... Uh, okay. Oh, oh, no. Oh, is he... It hey, says voice... Can... Oh, I can hear you. Okay, good. You froze in a super judge, judgmental phase for a while. It was, it was awesome. Can you uh, do video like or no? Made poor choices in your yeah. in your box. Yeah. Your well, I choice. went with Jace for you. I thought you wanted that. Yeah. So, well, no, I'm I, think, I think that's the right call. I'm taking I'm taking uh, remand as much as I draft the same fucking deck every time. But we got a time walk, man. So that's uh, that's awesome. Get, get to it. Do it. Do what you're doing. Are you? Can you do the video again or no? And Ancestral oh, yeah. Recall. Okay. How do I not draft the blue decks every time when I get Time Lock and Ancestral Recall, folks? Who, for anyone who knows about Magic. Yeah, no, I mean, Jace, Time Lock, Ancestral Recall, yeah. There's no way to not draft those. They're the best. Um, oh, actually, Narset is quite good. Let's see. So we're taking Ancestral. Tar Pit for fixing. And plus, it's a great man land. Uh, Grim Monolith, pretty good. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. get anything jumping out at you here? Narset might be too slow, no. but it, I mean, it's three mana and you basically hose the other person. Mm. I don't know if Heath is a big MTG nerd. I know he knows of the game, but I, I, I don't, I, I don't know if he's a suit, like current player or anything. Maybe yeah, he's handling enough of these new. Ah, uh, Tendrils of Agony. Know. Yeah. Th there's some new cards I don't know as well. Tendrils was the combo card, by the way. We're one of these times we're just gonna force storm combo and see if we get there. It'll be so funny. It's it's so it's <laughs> you're not gonna get there. Well, just for fun. You get to play three matches. Maybe I'll get there enough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Weirdly, I could almost see taking Tarpit. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I'm gonna try to get Alex on. Uh he's doing a debate oh, that's tournament. Funny. Maybe Alex and Andrew could come on and be funny. Um God, I don't know. A Gid I, Gideon's fine. Go ahead. No, I don't have any strong opinions here. I feel like I, I'm trying to remember what set I played up to last. It was like it's so many sets ago. Yeah, I'll just There's take just the so much shit has come out since I've stopped playing. I this is but getting these two cards is already insane. Oh, snap! <laughs> Snapcaster with recall and time walk is amazing. Volcanic is great, but I don't I'm not red so far. Dig through time. Oh, Yog will, dude. We had we had storm. We had storm combo. If we just believed, if we had just, just believed. Yeah, if you'd picked it though, you wouldn't have got it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> was that is that what philosophy teaches us? Yeah, yeah. You okay. never end up in the right timeline. Ballista. Well, now, so I'm I'm quickly I go into red blue every fucking time. I just get too attracted to the red blue cards. They're just too good, and I feel like I'm doing. I'm trying to do something different. I don't think I want dig mm. through time. This is just a big monster that's overpowered. But I need, I need, I have no, not really much fast mana. What'd you say? I wish I could see the cards better. Oh, oh you can't see him that well. I, yeah, no, I made him as hard to like. Yeah, 
Yeah, I made him no, as big as not, I could. It's not zoomed in very well with the um, chat in this. Maybe I should have done like the a core set draft, like just the most basic draft to try. Because apparently nobody, not very many. I had like a couple people who were magic, like big players. You know, kind of knew what was going on. Sorry about that. Yeah, but uh, no, it's okay. I don't know. I mean, I guess I take the volcanic. I honestly don't know what else to take. We're taking Snapcaster 150 percent. Kithian, if I wanted to go like. Yeah, I don't I don't know, man. I think I'm taking Volcano. I just go into the same deck every time. I can't help it. Ah, I can't help it. Well, I did well. Uh, we have to take a Mox, even though it's off color. Another dig through time. High Tide. We would add two High Tides in this combo deck. Days is quite good. Actually, Golos. Golos is pretty cool. So when you play it, you get a land card. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, but I'm that's like so Golos or Go yeah, Golos. It's good for um this is them. MTGO. I don't play Arena. I, can't, I haven't been able to get into that. Yeah, we tried Arena because it was something that I could actually get on as well on my Mac, but it um, it, it's garbage. <laughs> you know what I could do is I could go Ravages of War, which would be a really interesting. This is such a powerful card. Just like you try to get your artifact mana out, and then you destroy uh -huh. all the lands. Days is also actually really good, and I probably should just go with Days. What do you think? Because I'm I, yeah in an overpowered format, so days is just like a quick like a sneaky counter because you don't have to pay for it. Um, you can return an island to your hand rather than pay. Yeah, that seems pretty valuable. You're gonna get your money. Yeah. Worth in a All set right. Like this. Yeah, ravages would be interesting, but okay. So we don't have any power. Uh, no power cards in here. Pester might for the combo. Sundering Titan, but that's a huge cost. Ah, oh, times, man, we could have gone. I'm regretting not going combo so badly. That's all over <laughs> this cube. This is MTGO Supreme Cube Draft. It's fucking weird, but it's cool. Regrowth is an okay one. Stoneforge Mystic, if we found a really good equipment. Yorian is cool. I don't know. I'm trying that's to. Right, you do have kind of a flock of cubes thing going. I do. My hair. Yeah, it's, I just mm, not don't get haircuts anymore. So that's fair. Here, how about this? I also have a really high hairline. Every like few years, I think I'm going bald, and then I realize I just have a super high hairline, and it pretty much stays there. But I could also be. I also be think I'm slowly going bald. Could be. We're men. It happens. Yep. So I want. Unless you're doing oh, a hair club for men, which yeah. is ridiculous. I don't. Uh, I don't really have oh, pass and flames. Combo was just totally there. I could almost still switch to combo. Time spiral. Let's see. Shuffle. Nah. God, what do I want here? I, I have. N I actually don't know at all what I want. What's this one? No. So how many like people a... in the chat haven't gotten to watch the end of um, Mandalorian yet? <laughs> oh, time. Yeah. Initiate shit talk, please. <laughs> I have so many horrible things to say about this show. <laughs> It's just like, to, to be fair, I initially described it as Star Wars flavored high fructose corn syrup. And my yeah. friend corrected me that that's like underselling it. It really is like the blue meth of Star Wars. <laughs> it's it's like blue Mando. Um, <laughs> it's, you know, I, I watched both seasons and I like the entire second season. I couldn't tell you why I was watching it. And so, you know, congrats to Farver for, 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 uh, you know, hacking my brain enough to uh, make me watch two seasons of a oh, show. Favro? Were you trying to say Favro? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! I was just making fun of his name. Nah, sure you were. Sure you I were, was, my friend. Yeah, no, it's fine. I'm busy making fun of Mando. Shut up. Um, yeah, it's like it really was. I, I just every episode I wanted to just go back and watch the uh, "You Son of a Bitch" I'm in episode of Rick and Morty <laughs> instead because it's just that but better. Oh, man. Um. And it's so much fan service. And the last episodes, the last, the, the oh God, the choices they made. Uh, oh, so it's, so it's, was, it's already done. It's full seasons done. Yeah. Season's over. In theory, there's a third season coming along with 10 million. Yeah. Other I'm Star sure. Wars was it, was it only eight episodes? Yeah. It was. Okay. Yeah. So Ashiok, by the like way, every is episode, insane. There was one choice at least that a person made that like made it so that the tension could continue, but was just the yeah. lamest most incoherent choice imaginable so 
Oh, I so regret not so trying to draft combo. We should just for fun, if I finish this one quickly, I should just try to force combo and we can see a, what a disaster it is. But man, it was the there. Opposite this thing. It was there this draft. Like it was. What combo were you trying to drop? So it's like storm combo. There's a lot of stuff you can do. It takes a while to learn it all, but I've I've done enough cube drafting that I I'm pretty I'm okay at it. But it's it it's an uphill battle. Like it, it never works, but it's still it's it's always chasing the whatever. Chasing that white yeah. whale. Chasing, chasing the Jace. Yeah. Um, well, I seem to be making a pretty basic, basic bitch deck. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I just love blue cards, and I'm taking all the good blue cards. You're just picking very fancy blue I, cards. Yeah, I don't really out. have like much of a strategy right now, other than play a planeswalker. And I mean, I've grabbed Pestermite in case of the combo. Okay. Yeah. Don't spoil the last episode. I, I'm actually. I'm not spoiling the last yeah. episode. I, I will say that it is exactly like every other Mando <laughs> episode. <laughs> I, the meme you showed me was fucking spot on. That was the best. Yeah. It's so perfect. Yes. For folks who are familiar, this is the good place. Um, hey, Janet. If one like Jace me. is good, how about a second Jace, Aaron? <laughs> Two Jaces. Yeah, this is it. fucking insane. Okay. Oh, him to Toro. I mean, you're guaranteed to get to play a Jace every game. That Maybe I'll try to be blue-black, I guess. That's a weird... Him is really good with uh, Snapcaster as well. Uh, all right, fine. I'll do this. But I'm going to need some black fixing. About... Oh, sorry, what? Thomas, how do you feel about doing Medicare for all state by state now? Doing it at the federal level seems to be off the table for the foreseeable Yeah, states future. should definitely do that kind of stuff. Sure, why not? I think California is trying to do something. Well, I don't know if you can do, strictly speaking, Medicare for all at a state level, but you can do a, mm -hmm. you can do universal health care at, at a state level. And then what will happen is even more people will flood to the actual good states, and the Electoral College will even be even more of a piece of shit. It'll be great. Animate Dead is a cool yeah. one. Yeah. I'm sure all of the like, uh, you know, we're for more states' rights and less federalism. Conservatives will be hugely on board with this. Yeah, way they'll of block it. it. They'll find a way to get rid of it. Frost Titan is cool. I'm leaning. I'm leaning toward blue black actually, <laughs> which might mean oh, Alex Ant 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 dead is child. pretty cool. Who? What? <laughs> Alex Arnett is in the chat. That was trying awesome. Yeah, yeah. To believe that Mando was actually <laughs> <Yeah>. a good show. <laughs> Lightning Bolt is great. Hey, look, I don't begrudge people their desire to get high on Star Wars junk. Yeah. Uh, I get it. Uh, oh, I will fucking I take as many. I will take as many snap. You know, Confidant actually wouldn't be. I have a, such a low curve. Oh, Brainstorm. Ah, no, but I don't have any fetch lands for Brainstorm. God, I cannot tell you how much combo was there this time. And, uh, sorry, Aaron. I, there was so much combo available. I could have made an amazing deck. And I well, that's have. what you get for trusting me. You yeah. should have just never no, trusted I, yeah. me. I wanted to wait a while till I started spewing off combo decks that'll go 0-3 or, you know, 1-2. Uh, Snapcaster is for sure. I'm You know, I'm going to try to make Confidant work. Normally, it's not good in cube, but if I, with this curve I have being so low. Nobody my... knows what the fancy words you're saying mean, by the way. Okay, so Dark Confidant. It's hard like because I, I don't know that I have time things. to explain. Dark Confidant is a card where, okay, it says at the beginning of your upkeep, reveal the top card of your library and put that card in your hand. You lose life e equal to its converted mana cost. It's a it's a very staple MTG card um, because it allows you to draw that extra card, but you lose life equal to the converted mana cost. So if you have like high cost cards, you know, if I draw Jace off it, I'm losing four life, which is huge. But on average, since I have all these two mana costs, and if you flip a land or like a zero cost, it's no no cost to you. Mm -hmm. So it's a trade-off, but in a deck with really low mana curve, it works. Uh, Mull Drifter's great. Mm -hmm. What am I trying to make happen here? Uh, Vamp Tutor's okay. Coders of... I have a lot of ways to draw cards, and I have nothing to do with it currently, except play Jaces. Um... <laughs> More Jaces. Yeah. I guess I'll mold drift. Uh, sword. I could do a sword. Ugh. Rockus is fine. I don't think it's bad to feel guilty. I don't think you should feel guilty about being bored by the uh, the original Star Wars movies. 
I, mean, I think Empire Strikes Back is legitimately a very strong movie. In the yeah, I wonder calling. what it would be like to watch them uh, with no cultural context. Like if you just, you know, didn't knew nothing about it and someone's like, watch these Star Wars. I wonder how you'd feel. I mean, I guess everybody's different, but I don't know. I like them, but, I, but Star Wars, there's stuff that you've seen so much that was so big a part of your childhood or whatever it was that you can't really even know if it's good anymore. Don't you think? Like it's hard to, it's impossible. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Like, it's more part I mean, of your being. it raises the question of what it even means to say that it's just actually good in any yeah. kind of objective sense. It was good for you when you were seven. Yeah. Yeah, I really need some black fixing, actually, for black mana in this deck. Sword seems terrible. I have five creatures. I can't take a sword. That's terrible. But what can I take? Uh, a stupid-ass bone shredder? Coercive portal, maybe? I just draw more... I, this is bad. This is a bad deck. I might do this, honestly. I might, yeah, I might take Vamp Tutor. Why'd you draw this bad deck? Yeah. That's terrible. You should have gone for. Um, okay, here we go. Combo. Fixing. I found fixing. Yes. <laughs> I found fixing. Um. Yeah, not really anything else. I'm not seeing anything. Yes, not very much seen. happens in the original Star Wars. I agree. Yeah, but then the new ones are like constant. Stuff happening, mm -hmm. but it's not good. <laughs> you know, like, I guess it's Another a fine map. line. Yeah. yeah, they the new ones they found a way to make it seem like it's you're getting entertained at all times, but then when you stop and think about it, you're like, "What happened? Was that was that good? I don't know." Yeah, I mean, I think what we can do is point to Rogue One as being the correct yeah. intersection of a number of things happening and them being I worth think watching. That's the best one. Yeah, for sure. Oh, okay. Hold on, Soulfire. Oh, this is an infinite combo. Okay, I'll take this. This is something I can do at least. So, Soulfire Grandmaster allows you, if you have enough mana, the next time it says, next time you cast an instant or sorcery, you can put that card into your hand instead of your graveyard. Um, and so what that allows me to do is, if I have this out and enough mana, I can cast um, Time Walk infinitely and take infinite turns. So, it's okay. the mana's a little rough, but I'm going to... I'm going to make it work. Yurian again. I believe in you. Jace. I love this Jace. Oh, what's this one? Put target spell or non-land permanent shells. I hand draw seven cards. Huh. Interesting card. God, I don't know what I'm doing here. Uh, Thirst is good. I don't have that many artifacts, though. What am I doing with this deck? Am I just trying to assemble a combo? Is that all I'm doing? I mean, I have a lot of, like, filtering, card filtering and stuff. This is going to be embarrassing. I'm probably just going to get demolished. I'm not, Alex, I'm not saying that I could do any better with the constraints being placed upon the Mandalorian yeah, by Disney. I'm saying true. the constraints placed upon the Mandalorian by Disney necessitate that it is not, in fact, a good show. Yeah, I totally agree with you there. Honestly, I mean, by all measures that aren't you and I, Mandalorian is a massive success. So yeah, fine. I mean, Everybody like, why should anyone listen to anything I have to no, say on the subject? That's how I feel. Like I, I think it's crap, but it doesn't matter that I think it's crap because everyone in the world thinks it's the best thing in the world. So cool. Um, I think everyone in the world would be really happy if they did heroin too. But I think it's <laughs> the best thing in the world. <laughs> well, they'd be right. It'd be great. Okay. I still have a, my boxes full of my old, all my old magic. Old books. heroin. Yeah. Oh, you do? Anything good? Old my old heroin. Oh, of course. Have you checked if it's uh, uh Oh, not like anything valuable. Oh, no. okay. Just like you know, treasured memories of yeah. decks what, that what I've played sets for did you decades. figure out? Did you figure out what Oh, sets? I mean like I started in Ice Age. Let's see. Hmm. Look, let me look at the list of um Ice Age. I feel like that was in the time between when I first played and then when I came back. So that, I want to say that was like 2007 or something. Tell me when Ice Age was something like that. Um, I'm looking. I'm looking it up. Okay, Calm Jason. Down. Focus on your draft. Yeah, I'll take. Uh, these. So yeah, Ice Age comes out in '95, June. Oh, that. Oh, sorry. I, I was thinking of the. I actually had a fair bit of Fallen Empires too. Okay. Oh, that's a so, long so ass time. Here's ago. what happened, right? So yeah, let me let me tell you the history of Magic. Oh, <laughs> let me go sure. To Three thousand years ago, Gandalf. Yeah. I was there. Um. Yeah. So Ice Age was like. I think probably the first massive standalone 
set. Yeah. So you or, or so you got legends. Dude, look at these cards. Right? Look at this. I get another time walk and a manager. What, what, what is this nonsense? I mean, yeah, okay. I'll take these two amazing cards. And another manager. Yeah. This is a joke of a format. Okay, continue. Sorry. No, it's fine. So like I didn't get in on the original sets. Um, you know, oh, like, yeah. and then like the original expansions, which were Arabian Nights. I had I had like one or two antiquities cards. Wow. Um, I had a bunch of Fallen Empires, but Fallen Empires was basically like a trash set. It yeah. had very few good cards in it. Um, and then like Ice Age comes along and drops almost four hundred new cards on the game. Right, like the next biggest set before that was like, uh, was the the original like basic core sets and legends um so i played a bunch from ice age onward so i had a ton of like the mirage cycle um a fair bit of the wrath and artifact cycle and masquerade let's see i, I so i would have dropped out i mean god these names are all identical so it's like probably impossible for me to know exactly which set i went out on um but it was probably around like early 2000s so like the okay. invasion cycle oh so we're in a I, we always forget or i always forget who's older we're similar in age anyway but i was I'm older <laughs> oh okay yeah. i uh i my brother bought me some magic thing in like 1998 or something and so i got into it a little there mm -hmm. some like starter thingy with a cd rom uh <laughs> yeah that makes perfect sense you'd be about two or three years behind me on that curve yeah. Wait, is this maximized? How did I maximize this? Doesn't it seem like there's some crap? And then there? I came back, like I ended up like playing with some friends for a while in the mid two thousands. Yeah. So I popped back in for a bunch of drafts. So so I, I like basically I went to grad school out in Foco in in Colorado, um, and got in with a game group. Those guys actually did cube drafts. I never did those with oh, them, but so we did a fun. couple of like standard normal drafts of a lot of Miradun. Um, oh yeah okay uh, that's that's when i got into it a little bit more in so that was my senior year of high school with mirrodin and then oh, no, i think the fact actually those, those were the ones that i did actually before i went to grad school yeah that was in that was in um mm, 2004 undergrad actually when i played a bunch of um kamigawa and mirrodin yeah so I and then I, I, I like took a little pause at the end of high school and then got back into it in undergrad and then I didn't have really like anyone to play with much in college so i didn't really play then and then after college I got back into it and got hardcore into Magic Online, and it allows you to like get pretty decent at it. Uh, and so I played a lot of tournaments and stuff for a while, like ten years ago, and got really into it. And then I was off and on after that. Um, I got pretty hardcore I was just into say it. There's it. too many Magic sets. Too many Magic sets. Too many. I know. Yeah, I know, there's just man. too many at this point. They should like burn half of them. So this seems insane to me. This. Uh, this deck like weird i could be terrible but it's this is almost like a vintage or um yeah almost like a vintage constructed i never got into edh i do have physical magic cards oh i don't know if you're asking aaron but uh yeah i'm, I'm collecting a, a cube it's a lot of fun a little, little investment yeah uh edh is cool i just yeah i don't know why i didn't really care about it much because I, I was really focused on the competitive mm. aspect of Magic for a while. And that wasn't a competitive format. Um, this is a this is this is a deck, my friend. This is a deck. So we add all these and we add all our mocks in. And we are doing things. I have no idea how this is gonna go. Okay, how do we build our mana base? We need a ton of blue. This him to Torok is the one double black card we have that's kind of problematic but so blue two three four we got four blue sources i need at least like 10 11 blue sources and i don't have much room white sources i might be good on one two three four that actually might be fine black sources one two three or five that also might be good i'll probably add like a little bit so i'm gonna add at least six yeah actually this was what i was gonna do oh wait i get one more why would it have me add one fewer than i can get i think i'm good on white and i actually might want one extra black 
So that gives me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten blue sources. I almost want more. How many? Okay, because look at all the blue. I have a ton of blue. Black one, two, three. That fetches a black four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> I don't even think I need seven black. I might swap a. a I might swap a swamp for an island. I just really want to... What's that? What did you say? EDH. Oh, uh, it's Commander. Have you I'm heard of... about EDH. Have you heard of Commander? People call it Commander. Oh, Commander, yes. Okay, yes, I know. Yeah, EDH is that. like Elder Dragon Highland something. I don't know why it's called that first. Okay, are you ready to tr take this piece of shit for a spin? <laughs> Here we go. Let's yeah. see how we do, don't, folks. Don't lose. I, I don't know. This is a This deck could be amazing. Or it could be shit. Much more like a board game. Well, what I really like about ED about Commander, I like the singleton aspect of it. It's fun to have like a deck where you only have one of each card and you you gotta know like where, you know, what you have and what option. There's all kinds of tutoring effects, so like all kinds of effects that allow you to search for cards out of your deck. And it's just it it is a format where it would be cool to to get good at for that reason, but but it was always in a weird spot. Like people wanted to play Commander to not be competitive, you know, in my experience. Like they wanted to play that mm -hmm. as like a fun thing. And for me, I'm like, well, I like to play to try to have the best deck. Like I don't want to, if it's a format where it's like a, f so I, I don't know. I just never got into it for that reason. Also, no, somehow no one's ever in these queues. I don't know why. Last time it took me a while to mm. find a match too. Maybe this, maybe people don't like this format. Well, Next, this format's only live for another four days, and then there's just regular cube draft. Is everyone playing Arena? Is that true? That's weird. I can't get into Arena. Mm. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, we tried, and it just it was... They finally bad. came out with an Arena cube, though. I think it's live right now. Um, so I could give that a try. I don't know which what format the cube is. Like, I don't know if the Arena cube is only whatever um, specific cards they've released on Arena, which is a, I don't know much about, because like I said, I haven't done it. Okay, here we go, man. Let's see. Let's see how this goes. This feels like a powerful deck, but I don't know. Oh, close to a Pioneer Cube? Um. Oh, this is awkward as fuck, but I think we can keep it because... We have the remand. This is this is very so we have to imagine this is like gonna I'm playing something super powerful. I'm going first, but I can't stop anything on their turn. I have some disruption. But if I can get another blue, I have mana drain and I'm golden. Yeah, fuck it. I think I'm going for it. It's not an amazing. It's not an amazing hand, for sure. Just play this and whatever. So I could just get demolished on turn one. Someone could drop like a bunch of mocks on me. Oh, green. I like seeing that. Oh, don't like seeing that. Uh, okay. This could be a lot of things. We 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 grabbed a blue. Wait, why did I play? I'm an idiot. Why did I play that land first? I, my thinking was to save the life, but it would be way better to have mana drain up right now. That was a really stupid decision, but oh well. I have. I was thinking remand, but. Uh, Already spewed some uh, potential value there. Well, I'm not going to counter that. Some this seems to be a ramp deck. Uh, mm -hmm. I think I probably counter that. Well, what the good news is, what we can do next turn is have mana drain up. They drop and there. What'd you say? Yeah, and counter whatever big thing. Yeah, they yeah, we can try and mana drain gives you that mana to use on your turn. So mm -hmm. that's a that could be a big deal. What sucks is I didn't play that island first, so I'm gonna I'm gonna be my limit will be um blue mana. Oh Jesus. Yeah, this is a pretty good ramp deck they have. But I think the oh here we go. The key is gonna be mana draining them on this play. Burp easily mana drain that. I don't even look at it. Yeah, that's good. So now I get a tremendous amount <laughs> of mana. And what I will do with that tremendous amount of mana is I will probably bounce their Rafelos. Okay, let, let me think out this turn. So, I think we got to Jace bounce their Rafelos. Unfortunately, I can't find mm -hmm. any more counter spells. 
Or the other option is, do I figure they can basically play anything anyway and Jace brainstorm looking for some sort of counter magic? That's a possibility. I also have Muldrifter, but then I will be out of blue. So any, actually all my counters are double blue, I think. Uh, I have miscalculation. Oh, I didn't screenshot my deck. Damn it, I gotta do that. Um, I have miscalc. This is interesting. This is Magic the Gathering Online, Full Metal 140. Um, bouncing the Rafelos is safer, but they still have, uh, you know, possibly two, uh, put on, yeah, like two mana here, three, four, five, six, seven. Whereas, and then, you know, I guess that stops like an Eldrazi. Yeah, I think I should probably bounce it, actually. Okay, I'll do that. So I'm going to play Jace for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is a complicated game. <laughs> so I'm going to bounce this. They're tapped out. So I have one more blue mana. I can play... I can play... So unfortunately, I didn't get any Force of Wills. That's actually pretty brutal. Like, I didn't get any free counters, I don't think. Did I? Oh, I got Days, but I... Days against a deck like this is going to be garbage because I have so much mana. So mm -hmm. I could just play Muldrifter and hope, and I think that's what I'm going to do. And I basically have to hope I survive this next turn. And if I survive this next turn, I'm pretty golden. I have Soulfire Grandmaster, so if I can find a Time Walk, or and I also have a Tutoring Effect, if I can find that, I may be able to lock him out. Um, I need a lot of mana for the Grandmaster thing, so I might come up short. Let's see, I need, so I need to play it, plus have four plus time walks. I basically need eight mana to do it in the same turn. I only have four, so that's not happening. But I can play it and hope it survives. All right, here it comes. Let's see what they got. Six mana, seven mana. This could be like a eight mana. Oh, wait. Oh, they're going to kill my Jace. Okay. That's so, they had to blow their load on this Crater Hoof early here, which is fine with me. They're killing my Jace, I accept. Um, do other creatures get haste? No, they don't, okay. Copying Phantasmal, using Phantasmal image to copy Crater Hoof is a thing I've done to win before. It can be very good. Vamp Tutor. <laughs> so Vamp Tutor means I can, oh, th sorry this is so complicated, folks, but this is really fucking complicated. So I can find a card, put it on the top of my library, and then I can Phantasmal Image my Moldrifter to draw two cards. So what does that mean I can do? So I could Time Walk. Mm. But I, I need to have Soulfire out. So is there any way I can win? Why didn't I fucking screenshot my deck? I'm so mad that I forgot to do that. Is there a way for me to see it right now? View deck, view deck. No, I don't think I can. Needed to do that. Uh, yeah, apologies. This is a super complicated turn. Let me th let me think about it. So, well, I guess I can <laughs> I can play vamp and then see what I have. Why don't I do that? I think one. Well, it's an instant, so I can also wait a turn. Yeah, but uh, so if he has any cop copying effects, he can probably kill me with this. You know, like if he has a Phyrexian metamorph or something. Um. This is what I mean. There's just too many cards. It's yeah, just it's too many things. Well, like point. I said, this is the most complicated version of magic that there is, pretty much. It's yeah. really hard. Extreme, extreme yeah. creep at this Maybe point. Maybe it doesn't make for good streaming. Now that I think about it. <laughs> um, start with something simpler. Yeah. <sighs> Why don't I tutor and see what we're dealing with here? Okay, so we can plan out the turn this way. Here's what I have available. I could grab another mana drain. Uh, yeah, I have the blue to do that. That might be worthwhile. Time walk just lets me take another turn, but then I don't. Then it goes to the graveyard. I, I don't have anything. I don't have anything to get. Oh, Snapcaster. Oh man, Snapcaster is so good. I could take. Oh no, because I have to use two mana to draw cards. Ashiok. I mean, ancestral is in. I my, my cards are so good. 
Uh, what is the, uh, the problem? If I take time walk, I draw time walk. I could just do that. But then I have to find another time walk. Yeah, I don't know if this is a good idea. Yeah, this is this is really hard. I have two. I have another time walk to find. This is why I just play decks that just drop big creatures on people and kill them. Yeah, no, that's certainly more simple. I could also him to Torque. Oh, I don't have the mana for it. Damn, that would have been nice. Um, yeah, I could deck image this like what's left, but I'll do that next game. I'm gonna run out of time. They're playing so much faster. You know, I mean, I could play it safe and just yeah. grab a mana drain. You know. Like, and then I have a counter. Is that the way? Is that what I do? Maybe I do that. Let's play it safe. I have my, my deck, my cards are so good. So I image. What I do is I, I'm kind of giving up the ability to image their thingy, which sucks. Oh, Mox Pearl. It's not nothing. In fact, that might help me get the combo. Man, I don't, uh, I don't know if this, and also by playing that untapped, I signal that I'm, that I have a counter. So they know I have a counter, but who knows? Maybe they won't figure that I have another mana drain. Oops. Arena is so flashy. Yeah, Arena's too flashy. Do I block? Doesn't have trample. Do I ch do I chump? I think I probably chump. Probably. Save the five damage. Any reason not, not to? Yeah, I mean, I mean, honestly, I'm probably winning by combo. I don't think I'm like attacking down. I mean, the reason not to is that I have plenty of life, so, like, I don't really need to. I could have attacked mm, with that yeah. thing. I think they're really thinking, what do I have? Because I left that watery grave untapped. What do I have? Because this land, this is a land you have to pay to life to. Oh, Rafelos. I knew they had Rafelos. I think I'll leave that. Are they going to try to go for something? They're almost out of things. But I also am not doing anything. I probably sh eh, I played that all wrong. Play that too safe. But the thing is, I have so many opportunities to win. Like I can play or to draw good stuff. I can play Dark Confidant Soulfire Grandmaster or something and just sit on it. If he has if he has removal, getting the Soulfire Grandmaster removed is pretty bad because it's like my one way to win right now. Mm -hmm. <sighs> what do you think their last card is? <laughs> So you can see right here that they have one something card. large. Can you guys make that out? I don't it's know. It's either something large or just another land, actually. Yeah, exactly. They're thinking. I think they have something because they're thinking. Otherwise, there's no decision to make. Because I think they're thinking, do I actually have a counter or did mm -hmm. I bluff? This is why I love this game, by the way. So this land, for anyone who's, I'll try to, I, it's hard because we have all different kinds of people watching. This is a land where you have to pay two life for it to enter untapped. So that signaled that I had something, you know, otherwise if I had nothing, I would just put it in tapped and save the life. So they are definitely right. sitting on something and they didn't go for it, which is kind of fine with me, but they're almost out of cards. So as long as I handle their card, here's the, here's going to be the issue. This is, oh my God. Okay. Oh man. <laughs> so Soulfire Grandmaster, also very good with Ancestral Recall. I don't know if I want to do that yet. Oh my god, my, how much mana do I have? One, two, three, four. I wish you would have played something big. One, two, three, four, five, six. I What's that mox? That that I counted that as six. Yeah. yeah. So I, if I played this, I don't have enough to do it. Okay, so I I don't have enough to do that. I think for that reason I probably ancestral right now and just see what we mm -hmm. get. I also have Snapcaster Mage now. Oh my god, this is so fucking insane. This deck is really good. Uh, but to play my Pearl, holy shit. I have too many good things I can do. This might actually be a really good deck. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> it's hard because I don't consistent. I don't know what decks I'm going against. I haven't played this format, man. This is a complicated come on. I'm not a fucking professional magic player. I haven't mm -hmm. played in a year, over a year. A lot of ins, a lot of outs. A lot, a lot of, of ins, a lot of outs. <laughs> I think I want to get this blue mana down. <laughs> so I think I'm going to sit. The problem. Okay. So here's the, here's my main issue right now. Rafelos gives him so much mana that he could cast an Eldrazi, which if you didn't play during the time of Eldrazi, Aaron, they're like gigantic, uncounterable bullshits that just win the game on the spot. Yep. And so that 
I can't sit on yep. mana drain for that. They're eldritch gods. Yeah. So I think I... Okay, let's set up to try to win the game next turn. Let's hope I survive one turn. How much mana does he actually have? So that's one, two, three, probably four, five, six, seven, uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen... Yeah. Okay. So if they ha if he has like the Eldra, what's the face Eldrazi that just wins you the game? But what could I even do about that? I could. Yeah. There's nothing I can do about that right now. Anyway. So fuck it. Yeah. All right. I think we just hope he doesn't have exactly that Eldrazi. We can beat almost yeah. anything else. Cause I can Snapcaster Ancestral. No, I I played my Fetchland. Oh, he's <laughs> Jataxian probing. All right. Sure. Yeah, I played the Fetchland. I played the Scalding Tarn this turn. I wanted to get another blue mana. So, cat's out of the bag, uh, sir, <laughs> opponent. Uh, I guess I shouldn't assume gender. Gender. Cat's out of the bag, opponent. You know what I have. They they just played this, which looks at my hand and draws them a card. Uh, yeah, I mean, I could have played the Swamp under the idea that I'm trying to look for the... Uh, wow, what's he going to do? If he attacks, I probably just don't even block. I think I just sit on it. Yeah, I'll take the damage. Huh. Okay. Well, I'm gonna Ancestral, I think. Right? Or do I sit? Yeah, I'm gonna Ancestral. Yeah, I think so. This is fucking complicated. Oh, I could Vamp Tutor. I'm an idiot. Oh, my God. I forgot Snapcaster Vamp Tutor. And then that, then I, so that, so now I need to use my fetch land. Oh, I don't have another black to fetch. Fuck, guys, I'm sorry that I'm an idiot. And yes, Emrakul was the one I was talking about. So I'm an idiot. Had I typed right, I forgot I had Vamp Tutor, which may, I could have looked for my other time walk and then had the infinite loop. Note, though, he does have an island, which suggests he could have some counter something. I don't know what that island's for. Um, so anyway, I just possibly blew a giant chance to win the game. Uh, apologies for playing badly. Actually, let me um let me fetch first. Uh, sh just get an island, and uh, play ancestral. Yeah, that was that was quite bad. All right, I found a time walk anyway. So I have this with a counter backup. I think I should be good here. I think I should be good here because I have the infinite combo with time walk. Soulfire, and I have a flyer, which is why I specifically did not block with this one because he has no flying defense. Oh, and I can preemptively him to Turok with counter backup. So can I do it all? Can I do it all, folks? I need, I think I can do it all because I can do this, this cost. So I need to the next time. So that means I can do it all. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. So I'm, and I can be extra certain. I can play this Mox Jet too. This deck fucking rules. <laughs> so I'm going to him to Turok with backup here. Oh, he's, he's discard. Yeah, it's over. Okay, so now I can do this. And I can time walk. And now I have infinite turns. And if they are kind, they will um, concede the game. But I suspect they'll probably try to make me finish it out. Uh, and therefore, you know, make me attack down all the way and try to take my time. Um, but, uh, well, you know what? I can, I can speed it up a little bit by playing Jace. So let's do this first so I don't mess up. Uh, there we go. Play Jace. And this will allow me to, uh, return that. And then I can attack with everything, right? Yeah. I'll speed it up a little bit. Right, do this. What do you got going on? At this uh, point? The, I have the combo. They're making me do it, you know, because they want to run my time out. Oh, oh, uh, I see. Because you've taken so long to get to it. Yeah, but I the game's over. I just attack two more times, and I'm good. So this ruled. <laughs> and for, oh, I don't even Did need your deck work out. Yeah, this is actually I think a really good deck. So I need to play way faster next uh, game. And I also mm -hmm. need to take a picture of this deck. So, oh, where's my snipping tool? Where's my snipping tool? Is 
the hell? It doesn't let me. Why can't I get to the start menu? I think my computer's a little messed up here. Oh, there we go. Do that. Uh, so here's my deck. All right. Wow, that was that was crazy. Thank you. I need so I need to play a lot faster this time. But I love going against just a basic creature deck. That's always fun. You don't want to be the basic creature deck in cube, Aaron. Sorry, this is so uh, play intensive, mm. buddy. I, I, no, I wasn't right. thinking I'm... through. No, it's fine. I'm trying to schedule podcast guests. Sweet. I should be following the chat, I suppose. Yeah. So okay. The chat ask more philosophical questions. Oh yeah, that's philosophical. Well, I think they're all yeah. There's a lot to focus on for everybody. What do you think I should keep this? They're mm. playing first. See, I don't know enough. I don't know enough of the cards in your deck. Yeah. No. Well, the, the so right they're, a basic, they're a basic. They're a basic ramp deck. They're a good ramp deck. It seems like. So this means I have a counter turn. To, I think I can keep this. It's not amazing, but I think I can do it. I could just get blown out. By the way, like they could just play a bunch of stuff, and. Uh, have a very early kill. Look, I'll know you're rooting for me in spirit. It's cool. I support you. Thank I one hundred percent support you. I'm here for you. Okay. I mean, I told you to take the combo from the beginning and see how it worked out. Okay, that's a pretty basic. Oh, that helps a lot. Wow. If that's the case, so I can't leave up mana drain. I think that means I want to play Jace this turn. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Jace is really cool. You have to filter a few cards out, and then you get a Planeswalker. Oh my god, this guy's got a lot of mana. Okay. Let's see what we're dealing with. Oh, he, that's why he has those lands. So remember I talked about Golos, Aaron? You can find... So uh -huh. That's why he has all those different lands. Oh, it's because yeah. this one, you win the game... Uh -huh. Oh, wait, no, you don't win the game. You exile the top three cards of your library, and then you can play them without paying mana cost. So that, I need mm -hmm. to get rid of that thing. This is this could be bad. I also have a time walk. <laughs> Let's do this. I also have a Jace. So bouncing this is incredibly bad unless I can counter it on the way down. Um, I will discard a... I almost don't want to discard a land. But, yeah, sure. I can also spell seeker for another. Hmm. Should I time walk now? Oh, wait, how much mana does he? Have? So, one, two, three, four, five, six. So, he needs seven. He has no black mana right now. So, I don't. There's a good chance we're okay next turn. Hmm. Time walk. So I can play one more land, right? So I'm going to discard an island, I guess. I don't even know if that's right, honestly. Yeah. So I could play one more land and time walk, and the next turn I have access to four mana, but I'm not doing anything with that. I mean, I could play Jace. Mm. I'm not bouncing this because it's bad to bounce it. They get another... Well... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, feel free to answer Alex's questions while I think. Here we go. Uh, how about a day in the life of an academic philosopher? Do you have an ETV or an interview or another pod that gets into that? N no, I've never. I'm not sure I feel even like uh, it would work out well for me if I described what my daily life is like. Um, I mean, my daily life right now is get up and sit in front of my computer for 10 hours and then go to sleep. <laughs> you know this, I mean, I'll make a reference here that will um, lose me everyone because it is a reference to a show that is culturally verboten. Um, but Ooh. there's a sequence in Big Bang Theory oh, God. where... <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm hanging up. See? <laughs> hanging up the call. Uh, there's a sequence where, the, where two of the characters team up to deal with a physics issue. 
and then they go into the uh, Eye of the Tiger song, and they just sit there and stare at blackboards for several hours. <laughs> Basically that. Yeah, that's that's funny. I don't mind that. Should See? I chomp? Nah, See? it's three damage. I just take the three damage. Oh, that's all they're doing? What do they have? Oh, this actually works because I only have two lands. What, what, are they, what, are they, what do they have? What are you, Ancestral? Well, oh, they're just they're they they're they've f sixed or whatever. Does that mean I win? I mean, I think. Okay, if they've f six, let me Academia sorry, let me let me talk through this because I might be I might be winning the game. So if, if they've f six, okay. that means they they're not they have no responses. Sorry, everybody, and then then Aaron can go back. Um, I can mm -hmm. vamp tutor, grabbing the soulfire grandmaster thingy, the creature that's the combo. I can draw it with Jace. Mm -hmm. I have enough mana to play Time Walk. Oh, no, because then I need to find another Time Walk. Fuck. Never mind. Canceled. I don't think I can win this time. Fail. God, it would have been really good if I could, though. Yeah, I'd have to find I a second. I appreciate you, Gino. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold on. Shenanigans abound here. Oh, it's too much mana. I have, the other option I have is... I can Jace and bounce Spellseeker back to my hand and play it again, which allows me to get the other mm -hmm. time walk. But I don't know that I can do everything mm -hmm. I need to do in this turn. Are they going to win next turn? No, I I just, the every turn that goes by, you know, it's closer to them winning, basically. I probably just leave uh -huh. Mana Drain back up here. Oh, you know, is this on... Why don't I do this at the end of my turn? Okay, so I'm gonna play Seachrome for sure. Why don't I leave Mana Drain plus Vamp Tutor? Oh, I like this quite a bit. Okay, yeah. I like this quite a bit. Let's do I'm that. I'm gonna point out, James, that more novel activities take place in Big Bang Theory than Mandalorian. Oh, the I have to decide which one I hate more. I hate... <laughs> Big Bang Theory more. I, in that, I would watch Mandalorian, j like, bef like I, I, I watched the first season, I watched the first episode of this season that was so bad that I just quit. But I would still watch, like, if someone was like, I really want you to watch this, I'd be like, all right, I'll watch it. Like, it doesn't, Big Bang Theory, I'm physically in discomfort as I watch it. Like, it is so hey, look. fucking terrible. Here's what I'll say. One of them is a sitcom that has no interesting or substantial character development that just hops from stupid events to stupid events and the other is big bang theory it's a it's, just, it's a toss-up honestly uh that's pretty funny this is a very tough decision oh, i can't oh man god this is hard they probably just want me to run out of time if i'm being honest and i might what was I going to get? I was going to get Soulfire. All right, I'm getting Soulfire. I don't care. It's very likely that the characters on Big Bang Theory would agree with you about Mandalorian. How does that make you feel? No, you think so? Sure. Absolutely. They would oh, totally critique it. For I being forgot that Jace gives me the. Uh, oh my God. Service. Jace gives me the ability to cast something from my graveyard. That, That's very important. You forgot about that, eh? Yeah, I forgot that. <laughs> There's a little bit going on. Oh, oh yeah. you, don't, you, don't, you don't need the um, other time walk, right? You can just get the guy. Well, you can, so I can't infinite walk. with this because oh. it exiles it. But I can um, I, I can cast uh, Ancestral from my graveyard. I'm going to run out of time, so i got to make this happen. So I have, this Mox was a big game, so I can play. Ah, oh, God. Oh, I can Vamp Tutor. I can Vamp Tutor, but I need a way to draw a card. Okay, here's what we're doing. Think, think, think. Playing this. They've I think they've F6. I'm playing Grandmaster. They've still F6. I'm time walking. Yeah, I'm time walking. And then I'm casting. Oh, I could cast another time walk. No, I'm casting Vamp Tutor from my graveyard. And finding. Mm -hmm. Time walk. The other, yeah. And then I'm winning the game. Come yes. on. 
Here we go, um, baby. So Alex, in answer to your question, I think it's both a hindrance and a benefit in the sense that I get paid to do philosophy, which I wouldn't get to do if there was not that academic environment. But, um, you know, it's a limiting space for ideas and, um, you know, there's a lot of nonsense and soul drainingness that goes along with it. So how about that match, folks? Oh, my God. I wish I had more uh, more experienced magic players to, to see how cool that was. Did he did he concede uh, when you yeah. dropped the combos? That God, was... that was fucking awesome. This deck is actually good. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, I finally... It's cool that um, FedEx just quit. They just quit their job. I mean, they probably have too much work. But I had, like, cat sand, you know, that was going to be delivered. And, like, FedEx just was like, we don't know. We'll never deliver. It's been sitting near me, like, at a, somewhere in the city. And they had no estimate. They're like, we don't... We have no plans to... The, it said something weird on the um, website. It was like... No current delivery planned on my package. I was like, what? <laughs> anyway, so I, like, mm -hmm. I got in a, in a terrible cat shit dilemma with that because I was out of cat sand, and then you know, so we eventually got some replacement cat sand, but it was still very, it was very unpleasant. Okay. Anyway, ooh, I gotta, I'm gonna take a breather after that one. So what was the, uh, what was the, did I interrupt something? I was really focused on winning that no, game. No, not really. With I only was just five minutes left. How being a professor is weird. Yeah. Ah, uh, seems nice though. I've noticed that. Do you get a lot the worst of part is the being part of? Yeah. You know. Do you get a lot of that from your stuff you do, Aaron? Which is people asking like, "Oh, I want to be a philosopher. How do I do it?" Because with OA now, we get that nonstop, and I don't. Bl I'm not. Don't blame people because when I listen to OA, I want to be a lawyer. And uh, as soon as California allows me to study under Andrew and get credit for it, I will become a lawyer or at least take the bar exam and fail. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that all of so much of OA now is like, hey, I'm a successful, you know, hedge fund manager making $40 million a year, but I want to become a lawyer. Should I do it? Like there's like, everybody like I have a great career software developer, but I die because of OA, I want to be a lawyer. And everyone's like, why? Just just I, I get it. I totally get it. Is that sometimes I have the same thoughts, but it's funny. Yeah, I mean, I think philosopher is very different from lawyer because like lawyer is an important profession that people like care about and there's rules um, <laughs> like everybody can just be a philosopher like I can, you know, Domini, 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 you're all philosophers now like. Everybody can do philosophy all the time. Now, to become a professional academic philosopher is a horrible idea, and nobody should do it. Um, but, like, you know, do philosophy in your lives. <laughs> like, unlike lawyering, there's, like, no... It's not like you have to get to a baseline of lawyering before it's valuable to society. Like, any amount of philosophizing that any of you do in your lives is valuable. So just, like, get out there and do it. Mm. Um, and don't sort of worry too much about the, um, you know, publishing, you know, getting a PhD, all that kind of stuff, I think. That's my opinion. Yeah. Well, should I try my hand at a at another one? Can't believe I won that match. I mean, I guess. Yeah. It's like a, that's the way this works. Yeah, you play you play three. All right. What's one some of the bad stuff? The worst stuff is, I mean, some of the worst stuff is like grading, and it's not... I think when people think that grading is horrible, what they have in mind is like, it sucks to read a bunch of terrible papers. <laughs> and there is like some of that, but it's more like it sucks to be the person whose job it is to take a, you know, a bunch of papers and codify them in yeah. such a way where you will radically impact people's lives. <laughs> like I don't want to be impacting oh, people's man. lives with their final grades. I want nothing to do with that. Wow. Um, and it's all like a really problematic selective system that just reproduces the luck of whatever is going on in the students lives than that particular semester more than anything else. So like, it's just, it's a whole nightmare on that side of things. Um, so, you know, like if we lived in a post scarcity society where we didn't need to use these things to funnel people towards limited resources, then that would certainly make the environment much better. Um, other than that, 
uh you know things like you know random weird admin stuff the usual kinds of of corporatized admin issues um like for example the random change to the contracts that means that i can't be a, a ptl while being oh, a phd this yeah. in the future um stuff all like right that. decision point folks whatever this is <sighs> Don't do i it. daze their mana vault i honestly i think oh because so i have to return my island and now that I'm waiting, I'm already giving away that I have something. So it returns my islands. It sex sets me back a lot. You know what? Nah. I don't think I'm going to, actually. Oh, I could have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, no, I couldn't have countered that. Uh, this might be the better thing to counter. Oh, he left a mana open? Oh, my God. Okay. You got me. I think that was just an accident because this has to tap for three. But that's... All right, that is a downside of not countering the mana vault, but it would have left me so far behind. It's possible I should have. Oh, well, that helps. <laughs> Ancestral Recall does help. Well, they got to cast this. This thing will quickly get out of hand. And they have uh -huh. more mana. Well, actually, no, this thing's done, right? Pay four. Yeah, okay, so. Yeah, this might work out okay. I mean, Monastery Mentor is a beating. Like, once they start casting stuff, it makes other of them like it copies von neumann probes <laughs> you want to talk about von neumann probes yep. have we been liking days in the cube i haven't played it yet well yeah that's a good point about i mean i here's what i know days is a critical card in vintage isn't it like so uh you know like in vintage you get to play moxes so it strikes me that's even more valuable to, to I, sh I probably should have just countered the first thing honestly but Maybe I just played wrong. <laughs> Spaceman MD, is that a um, 40, uh, 30 rock reference? Dr. Spaceman? All right, I think I just uh, mm -hmm. go ahead and ancestral myself. Oh, it's not good in vintage. Okay. So maybe that's, maybe I'm wrong. All right, if they counter this, that sucks. Ooh. But if they counter it with something like that. Yeah, okay. This I daze the fuck out of. Sucks I'm going to lose my thingy, but there you have it. I need to protect my ancestral. He might have a force of will. Okay, so I'm I'm behind. Not amazing. But I have a lot of cards. Off, eh? Yeah, I did. And I have to discard actually. Um, so not the best. Not the best, but it's it's doable. Yeah, that was the easiest days of my life. These are the days. Um, I think I discard. I, Narset's going to be good against this deck. I think. Days go by. What, what do I discard? I guess an island. I mean, I kind of need my mana. Let's see. Vamp. I mean, Vamp isn't really that good here, but I am a combo ish deck, so I think I always need Vamp. <laughs> Yeah, I'm leaning toward Island. I would Island. rather be a resident philosopher at a compound. I think that would. Ooh. We can make I that happen, that. my friend. <laughs> this. Yeah, all going to subsidize me. It was one thing when I was playing this extremely complicated deck against a stompy ramp deck, because that's so easy to understand, you know? But now I'm playing sure. a complicated th deck against another complicated deck, and I'm. This is where being a year out of practice is going to add up. This is going to be tough. All right, I can't do anything here, so. Oh, man, that's a beating. Cast spells only, yeah, that is a beating. Um, So that sucks. That eliminates a lot of what I could ever do. Yeah. You fucked. Uh, likely, likely fucked, likely fucked. Like the Germans? Um... What, what does that do again? Oh, yeah, you may cast this. Did they return? Wait a minute. What did they just do? Uh, game log. What did they do? They return Mana Vault. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, so I can play their Mana Vault again and get, mm -hmm. get a net three or net two mana. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, oh, plus a playing Mana Vault again will give them another Monastery token. So, yeah, this is going to be... I'll be dead pretty soon. Uh, probably not going to win this game. <laughs> On the other hand, Time Walk is always a good card. Um, 
I think we got to do some de- – here's what I – I mean, if he has a – here's the thing. Oh, wait. I can only – I might get fucked by Teferi. No. Okay. For now, I'm okay but for Teferi, but yeah, I got to keep that in mind. Uh, I'm going to do time walk. If he has a counter, like a force of will or something, I'm, de- I'm just dead anyway. Oh, well, that didn't get countered. So I can do this, and then I can snap caster uh, time walk. And I mm-hmm. just hope eventually good things happen to me. I don't know. <laughs> That's where I am. <laughs> uh, doing doing things. I don't have like a wrath. I don't. I mean, I don't even have much removal, honestly. I'm basically a straight combo deck. Um. Uh. Oh God, I'm I am dangerously close to doing things, folks dangerously close to doing <laughs> something that. Something might happen here at some point. Yeah. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, so I can vamp. Uh, I can... Yeah, right? Because I can... I can't do anything this turn, and I have to cast this on my turn. So they're going to get another turn. Mm-hmm. But I can vamp for my combo piece. I can spell seeker for time walk. And then next turn, if they do absolutely nothing or have no disruption, not odds aren't great, then I can theoretically win. Don't play. For yeah. They, yeah. <laughs> they, hey, I'm grasping for whatever I can here. Um, you know, I could also like attack. You know what? Okay, here's another consideration, folks. The other way I could go is Jace bounce their monk, attack and kill to fairy. But like I don't, I don't think Teferi gets me really. Mm. Like Teferi doesn't stop me from comboing exactly. Yeah, I think that's too passive. That doesn't really solve my problems. Oh wait, is there some up until your next turn? My cat. Oh well. Uh, okay, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it all on the table. I'm gonna. Oh no! Oh God, I almost blew it. Sorry. You have to play this first. Uh, that was almost disaster. So I spell seeker for my yeah spell seeker for time walk. Oops, this is such a hard game, folks. It is a very hard game. S- <laughs> time walk. Even harder watching it on a delay. Oh, I bet. How delayed is it? Here, I, I'm gonna five, pick. I'm gonna pick time walk now. I mean, I want it. Eight seconds, eight or nine seconds. Jeez, it's that delayed? It shouldn't yeah, be that delayed. Bad. That could be partially you. It's probably me who's <laughs> doing teaching a lesson in the other room as oh, well. Oh, sorry, that does make it hard. I guess I could. There might That's be okay. a I way. Should I probably can... bail soon anyway. Sure. Yeah. Understandable. Um. Do I have enough to do it? Oh, I won't have eight mana anyway, folks. Uh, I don't... Yeah, this is such a bad plan. What cult titles are you claiming? Uh, I think titles is the beginning of the end. I'm going to avoid claiming any So no titles? titles By the way, I just started the um, Heaven's Gate doc on HBO. Boy, that's that's a different brand of cult. That's a... That's a... Yeah, they do a different thing. Holy moly. God, I'm so fucked here. I don't think there's anything I can do, but all right. Yeah, I think it's better just not to put labels on it, I think, right? (laughs) Uh. I was trying that show uh, the third day or whatever. Oh, yeah? On HBO. That is a very interesting show. Yeah? Does it go somewhere? It goes somewhere. It's it's interesting. I don't want to. Yeah, I don't <laughs> want to. It's it's in, it's in, I st- it's the kind of show where I watched it and after I was done, I was like, did I like it? I think so. <laughs> but it's it, it's worth watching. It's worth watching, dude. The fucking the 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 hotel innkeeper guy is worth it. Like just for him, he's so fucking funny. He, that relationship between that is couple fun. is really good. Yes. Yeah, I thought I was doing the low latency. Do you say latency or latency? I never get that one right. 
Latency? Latency. Latency. I thought it was doing low latency, Lat- but... Latency? Is wait, that wait, a thing wait. that people I say? Know. I don't know. With their mouths? I want to be artif- artifacts. The unquestioned, yeah. What's going on? Why hasn't this person killed you yet? They're going to. All in good time. Um. Okay. You can be the artifacts, Alex. I can take... Alex f- artifacts. I can take five artifacts damage, Alex? probably. Is that a free thing? In fact, I actually think I have to not block because even if I combo um, on Disco, no, he's not watching via Disco. No, that I'm would not have less. I'm watching on Twitch. That would have less latency if he was right. I can't see it on Disco because Thomas isn't sharing it on Disco. Well, I can't. I could share me, but I can't share the screen from another computer sure. on Discord. I wish I could. I'm uh, sure you could if you got a few more uh, widgets into your computer and. I am very so mana is a huge consideration here. This is I'm just so dead. Short on mana. I'm just so dead, folks. Um, give it up. I think I mean I gotta just fucking try. I don't know. They probably have counter magic or I think I'll evoke the. I'm just so fucking trapped. It's over, but I will try. I have I tried arena. I can't figure it out. I don't know. I can't get into it. Oh, he, maybe he has a daze type effect? Hmm. Oh, he's got something. Oh, mana tithe? Oh, swords. Yeah. Well, I think that means I'm dead, right? <laughs> this deck dies to any removal. Oh, plus a mana train. <laughs> All right. We can pack it up here. All right. So this deck is brutal. I don't know what I can even do about this. I think I have to just be faster. Um. Yeah, this is not. You should have, uh, I guess, uh, gotten rid of that mana bolt at the beginning. That. Yeah, I'm. Maybe I'm not. Sh- yeah, could have could have made a difference. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna get out of here. Oh, okay. But, uh... Thanks for joining. Appreciate it so much. I I'm sad you didn't get to uh, do more philosophy. This is a weird format. We'll do uh, Portal Two again soon. Yeah, for sure. We will. All right. Thanks, my friend. Nice chatting with all you folks. Adios. All right. I will switch to. Let's see if this thing switches. There we go. Okay. This is a good. I have a him turn one him plus ponder. Yeah. Okay. I will be keeping this. Turn one him with a island. Yeah, well, I could force of will it, but that still gets two cards. Yeah, truth be told, magic is not. Now that I realize, poor Aaron, I appreciate him uh, trying, but magic, this complicated magic thing is not a good format for having a guest. It's too complicated. I got to talk through all this stuff at the same time, I think, to even have some chance of uh, it making sense. Uh, I'll ponder. Maybe this isn't a good hand. <laughs> Uh, I could go for an Ashiok and just like an early win, but I actually really need land. So this is, this is a terrible, th- uh, I think I have to shuffle. All right. Hey, m- anyone who knows magic, should I go for the turn two Ashiok and assume that that can get me something knowing that I'm landlocked and can't play mana drain or any of now? Okay. I answered my question. I'm shuffling. Damn. Got to shuffle. All right. Oh, Black Lotus. Oh, my God. Well, what do they have? I mean, if you play the Black Lotus, you have something, right? Unless he's worried about discard effects. Hmm. God, I just need one more turn to get that Mana Drain active, and then I have a chance in this game. God, what does he have? So that's, how much mana is that? Six mana? Could just be a Planeswalker. But it has to be a one color thing. Blue, okay, yeah. Doesn't look great. Time Twister, oh! Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, this is something. This is things. This is things. I have of days now. That's pretty good. Can't daze that. Okay. Very interesting. 
Uh, that's almost better for me, honestly. Play this. I can play my turn and have mana drain up. I think I play Confidant. Man, there's too many options in this game. Confidant, Tarn. I don't think I want to ponder because I want to have mana drain up. Yeah, all right. Seems good. Wow, that was probably pretty good for me, honestly. No, oh, he can pay to... Is that worth it? Because he, he had to spend... The... I guess it saves him the life. Land go, eh? Uh, sure, sure. I think I... Oh, should I have saved that shuffle? Nah. Oh, well. I don't think I need the land. I, pro I could have saved that shuffle for the ponder. All right. Well, if he does nothing, uh, I'm sitting pretty good, actually. So I can't have my mana... I can't play Jace and have mana drain up, which sucks. But I can just rack up card value. I, I mean, I could also just play, I could play Grandmaster and have Mana Drain and like Days up in case I need it. Yeah, sure, why not? All right. I don't know why I have the sound on. I don't normally play with sound, but let me know if you'd rather me turn the sound off. Ah, oh, man. All right. Let's see what this person does. Nothing? Nothing, eh? Wow. Uh, okay. Well, I can't do anything either. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Well, I, I assume they're sitting on like some maybe some counter magic, maybe some removal. Hmm. I mean, I could just attack. I have four di four damage out there. It's not terrible. Oh, I didn't realize. Sorry, that's just my. I don't know if you could hear that. Oh yeah, you could. I was just Discord telling me I was on a call with nobody in it. I didn't know it didn't just auto hang up. Um, hmm, hmm, one, two, three, four, five, six. So as of right now, if I sit on it and do nothing, I have soul, soul fire mana drain. Which, is, that's not insignificant. Um, oh wait, two blue. No, I don't. Yeah, I don't have the blue mana. Okay. That's good to know. And that, I think, do I ponder? Do I, do I jade? I think maybe just attack. Like, let's attack and see what happens. I mean, they could have a flash creature. Yeah, they could easily have, like, any of, any flash creature that can, they want to block the Soulfire Grandmaster to... Yeah, Venser. Um, honestly, Venser's a pretty good mana drain target. And then I get that mana in my next main phase, right? Yeah. I think I will be doing that, actually. Oh, I can't play Jace, though. Dummy. Okay. God, the fucking blue mana is killing me. Oh, does he have a counter counter? Probably. Yeah. Worth it, though. Is it worth it? I don't know if that's worth it. Oh, counter mana drain? Ah, uh, god damn it. Ah, uh, fucking A. Yeah, this is a beating. And he has just so much mana left over to do all this stuff. Yeah, I don't think I'm winning this this one. That went very poorly, very quickly. Um so they're going to be able to probably bounce. They'll probably bounce Confidant and block this to get it off the board. 
I can't, there's no dazing shenanigans I can do. Uh, hello, is that a Duke of Doom? Is that a salutations as in hello? Or are you leaving? Hi. Um, I think I'm pretty, I think I'm toast on this one. I mean, I'll play it out. Uh, let's see. Hello. Um, okay. Yeah, there's nothing I'm doing here. God, that's just all bad. Everything about that was bad, and I hate it. <laughs> okay. Hey, full metal. Yep, so they bounce this, they block that. Yeah, I'm pretty toast here. I'll go I'll go through with it, see what happens. Um, you never know. I can play Confidant again. I can I think it's worth playing Chase. Probably should play my land for Yeah, fuck it. I'll just yeah. Alright. Do your worst, my friend. Two cards. I mean, they get two extra mana, but they've got tons of mana. You know, if they somehow run out of shit, you know, I'm not that dead. Okay, one was a land. What do they got now? Oh, they untapped monolith? Yeah, I mean, if they don't have much, it could be... Ooh. I got a time walk. Uh, I think I can discard my, j uh, my days. That is doing less than nothing. Oh, Narset. Okay. You know, I think we could be in business here. So I need... F so once you have five cards, I can... What is it? If you have five or more cards. So I can double... I could have flipped it this turn, actually, probably, huh? So eventually I can double time walk. You know, I'm not in the worst position. Oh, no. Narset... Sorry, I was thinking Narset was the one that stops them. Never mind. Not as good as I thought, but... Um, I almost wonder if I time walk this turn. So this allows me to look at the top four. You can reveal a non-creature, non-land card. Yeah, that's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. I think it might be, I could time walk a bunch of time. Oh no, because either one exiles it, so Snapcaster doesn't add time walks. Man, this there's a lot of options here. Hey, uh, Magic folks, any suggestions? I think I, I think I want, maybe Narset isn't that good. I think I, I think I want to time walk. Getting a Jace, sticking a Jace. So blue, I now have four. Blue. God, blue is really the limiting factor here. I almost should add another blue mana. So I can Snapcaster Time Walk, but I can't do that plus... Or Snapcaster Mana Drain is what I'm trying to say. But then that leaves me with one blue remaining. So I could play... I could play Time Walk with Snapcaster Mana Drain backup. They have two cards. Maybe it's two counters. Could be. Yeah. All right. Let me, let's try that. And then I have ways to... Okay, so they didn't, they didn't bother with that. So now what do I do? Do I Jace and start just finding stuff? Yeah, why not? I don't think they have... I think they would have stopped... Oh, so put two cards on top of my library... Yeah, miscalc seems pretty bad. Uh, hmm. I can ponder to shuffle, actually. Is that worth it? Yeah, why not? Oh, plus I have Dark Confident going on. Oh, Ashok is a decent one, too. But I think I want to just shuffle these away. I think I would do this. This is whew, complicated game. Um, oh, I'm running out of time too. I'm gonna shuffle. Oh, a him? That's actually really good. All right. Cause I can actually, 
I can actually him them next turn and then start fate sealing them with Jace. And then I can lock them out of doing anything. For a while. I mean, pretty much. Uh, I might just have to not die to... Okay, that sucks. <laughs> uh, let's do that. So let's him them. I think I might have this game, actually. Uh, then I can fate seal. Uh, they're drawing a planes. No. I will attack them. Oh, just this one. Uh, I can also, I can play another time walk. Uh, so I can do this. I can discard what's bad, what's bad. Nothing's bad. This is all good. Um, I mean, I don't think, I, I'm, I'm actually going to discard Jace. Uh, I can cast time walk. I got to hurry though. Uh, I can cast this. Oh, tapped badly, but it doesn't matter. He has no cards. Uh, grab this and look for a time walk. Sure. Uh, and I'm playing uh, time walking the rest of my life. Okay. I have to not die to that. Oh, my God. So those are some of the highest cost cards. Uh, so let's... Um, I, can, I can Jace bounce my own confidant eventually, though. Oh, I already knew that. No. Uh, sure. Okay. Um, attack. I gotta hurry. Uh, what do I need to do? I can't really get anything back. I can snapcast her. Time walk stack, right? Does anyone know time? Do time walk stack? Like if I can't cast two in one turn. Do I still get the extra turns? Because I want to Snapcaster out sooner. I'm going to assume I do. Yes, they stack. Thank you. By the way, that means the delay was on Aaron's part because that did not take eight seconds for you to respond to me. Uh, okay, that. And then actually I might just cast another. I'm. Uh, that's No, I'm going to cast another Snapcaster. Okay. So now I can just beat beat this person to death with their own shoes. As long as I don't die to this. I don't have a 10, but... So I'm not going to be able to win a game in six minutes, um, but that's okay. I can try. Next game, I can just try to really focus in. Uh, but I won this one, and I'm proud of that win. Yeah, I just beat him for six twice, right? Yeah. I don't need to bother with anything else. I don't have an eight. Jeez. I got real bad luck with the confidant hits. All right, folks. I won a game. Um, I'm so it's one one and I have six minutes left, so that's gonna be brutal. So I'm gonna have this that's that's just what happens when I play for the first time in a long time. I can play pretty decently, but it takes me too long to think of everything. Not let alone when I'm streaming trying to talk. Um So what I have to do here is just try to play you know. Do I want Animate Dead for removal? Enchant Creature put in a graveyard. Do I want Animate Dead to bring back my Soulfire Grandmaster if I lose it? Is there What card is bad in this deck that I would take that out for? I could just draft a red deck. That's true. I also want to draft Storm. I want to force Storm combo just for fun. See how it works. Does anyone think I should put in Animate Dead? It feels not great. It's like one way to deal with... If you are stuck on time, you want to sideboard faster. What? No, this this doesn't count toward my time. I'm, this this is a separate time here. I want to I wanna collect myself during this time and make sure I'm doing when I... Into a faster deck. Oh, I don't have that option. I mean, this is my whole sideboard in this... Um, yeah. Well, I mean, Animate Dead is a slower card, but compared to what? Like, if I take out something that's, like, not anything. But, yeah, I don't have much to take out, to be honest with you. I haven't drawn Thirst once, I don't think, or at least I haven't played it. Do I need... I feel like I need more islands. Maybe I have too much white mana. Let's see. I have one, two, three, four, five. For one white card. 
What do you think? Because I'm really stuck on blue mana like all the time. That's my biggest problem. Black mana, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think I want to take out... Oh, what white source do I even take out, though? Oh, uh, Godless Shrine? Uh, no, because that's both. Oh, yeah, never mind. I can't really take out a white source. I can take it... Yeah, no, okay. So I can't do that, really. Um. All right. Okay, folks, I have to focus really hard and try to play as fast as I possibly can. Ugh. This is going to be an uphill battle. Here we go. Submit deck. I, I think there's almost zero chance of me pulling this off, but always worth a try. Uh, Yes, I like this hand. This looks amazing. I will take it. It's F8. Keep. Uh, I will... What am I doing? Try to plan. I'm playing an island and sitting on it. Oh, God. They have Black Lotus. How many Black Lotus tie do you think they have? They have it every game. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. All right. And I lose. <laughs> that kill. So this completely kills my ancestral. They can't because I can't draw more than one card. So, all right. Whatever. Probably dead. But <clears throat> I'll, I'll play it out. I'll give it the old try. It doesn't, this doesn't kill my combo. Like, I could get, uh, Teferi sucks, but hopefully we don't. Uh, I think I just play Island Go. Because I need, just in case I want to daze something. Man, good battle though. Well, I mean, I could draw one card right now. So I could play, is it worth drawing Ancestral to play one, to draw one card? I don't know when I'm getting, well, you know, actually, I can sneak in a Snapcaster next turn and attack Narset off the board. So I think I will do that. I will, I will assume I maybe can pull that off and not try to um, not try to Ancestral for one. It's so bad to do that. Uh, what land am I playing? Assuming I don't draw Mana Drain. I mean, it would be good to get the Godless Shrine. Yeah, Snap is an Ambush Viper. Well, but then I, I probably want to be able to hard cast days just in case. Treachery. Yeah, treachery is pretty bad against me, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, that sucks. All right, I am playing Tundra. And just passing. So now I can Ambush Viper at the end of the turn. And still, so, I mean, they're going to be able to, they got, they got a lot of stuff to play. They can Treachery, actually, already. What is Treachery? Treachery only gets them, they could take my Soulfire Grandmaster. They could grab my, um, Muldrifter. What is this? Uh, I don't, yeah, I can't do anything about that. I guess six minutes is longer than I think. Um, so now I don't have the Ambush Viper plan, even. Unless I make them block this off. Oh, because they can Black Lotus. Yeah, actually, I think it is worth doing that. Ponder. Uh, ponder... Ponder the first part works, but the second part doesn't work against Narset. Yeah, I'm making them have to make the choice at least. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, sure. Then I think I w uh, do I ponder first? What am I looking for? I mean, they get to just go off with this. I'm looking for some sort of counter. Uh, so they can cast Lotus, get a bunch, yeah. I don't know what I'm looking for to be, um, I can ponder looking for a, a counter, I guess. That's basically all I got. Oh, well, I found it. So let's go top, 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 no. Hey, we're doing something. We're putting up a fight. I can hope they cast a big thing and... Mana drain it. I'm sure they'll have a counter backup though. What was the? F Does anyone remember what the first thing they got with thingy was with uh, Narset? One of them was um, treachery. What was the first one? 
I don't have time to look right now. Okay, I'm probably mana draining whatever this is. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, Teferi, that's right. Uh, I don't know if I mana drain this to be... Eh. Well, th this gets super... Yeah, all right, fine. I mean, they have the backup... I don't I I don't know if this is good. I mean this with the with this combo, black lotus whatever, like Yeah, okay. Force of will. Yeah, sure, sure. Oh, no, yeah. That's right. Daze is useless right now. Too much mana. I'm probably dead, but I'm playing it out. Yeah, to fairies. Oh god, to fairy is so brutal and I can't Yeah, I can't counter it. Yeah, uh I mean, I still technically have the combo, maybe. No, I mean, ugh. Have we seen, oh, we know, actually, we know one of their cards is Treachery, right? Wait, what did he do with Ponder? I'm, yeah, I'm losing track of what they did. I don't have time. Well, this is an overwhelming army, isn't it? Yeah, treachery. My oh yeah, if they treachery my combo piece. Oh, they don't have the mana for it. They only have one blue. So that might be what they're trying to do. They were gonna play treachery, but they ran out of blue mana. Um, because if they treachery my mana thingy, I'm kind of dead. Well, I'm. I mean, I'm so dead regardless. Because this, this army is just going to demolish me. Yeah, I, plus I have stupid Ashiok. Oh, I have Time Walk. Do I need to do it? Hmm. I think I just have to do this. Uh, Treachery is their last card, I think. Uh, I think I have to Time Walk, but it, there's just this, the prospects are so... Grim. I, I mean, I can time walk, and next turn I can snap time walk. I don't know. I think this is all I have going on right now. Because <sighs> I can't even attack. I need a flyer to even finish them off. This is all. Ugh. Oh. Well, I think I play that and snapcaster time walk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think, you, I think you've called it right, Brooke. Oh, wait. Don't I just. Well. Yeah, I think I just time walk. Man, man uh, drawing three cards would be great, but I can't do anything. So, <laughs> I mean, I can not die for a couple more turns. Uh, I mean, Ash Ashiok's like not the worst card in the world. Oh, I can't cast both. Damn. Uh, Jace brainstorm. Maybe I get my second time walk. I don't know. I'm so dead. I could return that. I could return a token. But I'm, I mean, I'm losing Jace anyway, so it's worth just getting the value. Our man sucks. Uh, probably do this so I can. Oh, I already played that. Um, oh, oh, I could have played Ashiok, but I don't have the black mana. All right, whatever. <laughs> Game over, man. Well, we'll see what happens. I'm still. Not theoretically dead. I'm only mostly dead. Oh, it is black. Oh, I thought it was the white one. I'm trying. I'm rushed. Sorry. Wow. You're right. Ugh. But having honestly having remand might be better. I because I can remand the treachery anyway. Um. And then that way I theoretically could just draw that plus plus the time walk. God, I'm, this thing's this army is just gonna murder me though. We can get another one. Oh, but he's able to have enough blue to double tread. Oh my! All right, well that's. Oh, I can't remember. I'm an idiot, Teferi. Yeah. Well, I'm dead. <sighs> Glenelindra is so good in cube. I love Glenelindra, and uh, that should do her. Yeah. In fact, I'm definitely dead. I like playing it out, though. All 
I mean, they can't attack with a main one. I might be able to save Jace. Yeah, I wish I had my own Teferi. More disruption. Yeah, I'm dead. Oh, sure, sure. Pretend I'm still playing. Maybe they glint it. Right. No? All right. All right, that's it. The day is mine. Or what's the auto yield? Four or six? Or is it zero? I don't know. I just I can't get into arena. It's too weird. I don't know. Should I try to get into arena? I can't handle it. I mean, I know I get used to it eventually, but I don't I'm not putting in the kind of magic hours that it would take lately to be able to get into something like that. Oh, I'm actually getting kind of hungry. Well, I have one more match to do. Let's see if I can do it. Yeah, I don't. I have a lot of like old assets in MTGO, so I'm not worried about the cheapness of it. Yeah, and I like playing modern. And but again, I haven't been playing lately, so I'm not sure why I'm making my poor opponent have to play this out. Oh, they're taking out Ashiok. Yeah, they're being really careful. That is really the... Uh, all right. How about I block? <laughs> uh, no, it still dies. Okay, so there's no point in doing that. Uh, yeah, all right, fine. They have the hard lock. Essentially with the uh, Glenelendra. They have a great deck. I, st I won a game, though. It was a cool game. I don't think time was even really a factor here either. Yeah, I'm just just plain dead ski. You're ranked in arena. How does the uh, ranking work in arena? I mean, there is a ranking in here. Like, there's a rating in here, I think. I could try to look for it, but I got to make sure it doesn't, like, um, I don't know if it shows any, like, on that screen, if it shows any personal information or anything. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, each month you have to grind ranked limited construction First through metals and stones. What does that mean? Like any other game. First through metals and stones. Through each mythic, you get an ELO rating. Oh, okay. That actually kind of sounds fun. I'd have to, what I would probably do if I played uh, Arena is like find a format that, I mean, I do really love drafting. So I guess if drafting whatever the current format is on Arena is good, like I could get into that. Uh, yeah, that'll do it. All right, I've seen enough. Oh, metals. Okay. Let me see. Actually, let me, for a sec, let me hide this just in case. All right. I'm going to see if my rating screen has any uh, other information on it. Uh, let's see. Isn't there a rating screen? Go to me. Oh, that's just the avatar. I swear there's a rating. Oh, it's like game history? Oh, not bad. Oh, okay, yeah, my rating is here. It's not... 
like I said, I haven't been playing much, but I'm limited 1737, constructed 1697. Yeah, not terrible. Not terrible. Um, all right, let me uh, take a real quick bathroom break, and then I'm going to play the last match, and then I will call it a day. One sec, folks. Uh-oh, did I lose? No, there we go. Okay, all right, here we go. Time to play our last match. See if we can do another 2-1. I went 2-1 to one in the first one, 2-1 and one in the first one. Uh, it'd be nice to get 2-1 and one with this one. This deck is really powerful. It's got some, for sure, weaknesses, but uh, it's got some it's got some powerful things. Okay, bye, Tagomes. Oh, love you so much. Thanks for for I, showing up. I hope you, hope you have a good weekend. Um sounds fun what you are doing to me but I don't know <laughs> gosh maybe I should try to get into arena I don't know I have a lot of stuff I want to play I want to get back to my NES games this uh supreme draft cube isn't quite as I, I don't like it that much I I it's interesting but it's also I don't know maybe if I get a sense of the metagame and like what, what I'm going to see in it. Maybe I'll feel differently. It just feels weird right now. I guess it's too nebulous. I don't know what, I don't know when I like get a good deck versus a bad deck. You know, every, both decks I've drafted feel insane, but I don't, you know, I don't know what I'm going against, but actually that happens a lot in cube. Like cube is so overpowered. You, everything feels insane. And then you, you know, you lose, <laughs> you lose <laughs> that happens. All right. We're going to finish out this draft. And then call it a day. All right, here we go. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, I think this is good. On the play, this is really good because I can play my mocks and have days up. Uh, I like it. Yeah, I have tons of stuff in, in MTGO, I think. All right, so I'm going to go... Eh, no reason to lead on Tundra, I don't think. Island mocks, go. Got my days up, and I don't even have to pay an island for it. I think this is a dead giveaway that I have something, but they might think I have like a mana leak ish effect. Okay, black, black cleave cliffs. Okay, I've countered the hell out of that. Sure, I mean they're they're getting something anyway, so days is my worst card. All right, what are we looking at here? Uh, would have been good to counter that, but they would have taken the days anyway. Soul Ring, okay, okay. Yeah, no, not not looking amazing. Well, hmm. Interesting. Do I play that now? This looks like a removal heavy deck if it's got red and black and a duress. Um, but at the same time, I don't, you know, whatever. Like, removal's going to get me whenever I play that Soulfire Grandmaster. I could, I mean, the other thing I could do is time walk with the thought that I'm getting to the Jace and sticking the Jace. They have a lot of mana. They have five mana. What is Jace doing? I'm brainstorming, I guess. This is a tough decision. 
I still need six mana to combo with Soulfire anyway, and I'm not even close to that. So playing it early doesn't do much other than get in a couple meaningless hits of damage. I think maybe getting the maybe getting the Jace is worth it, worth it, honestly. And I might just brainstorm. Okay, they're thinking. Do they have a maybe they have a um force or something? Do they have a force? I mean, their their deck. I mean, I give, we've only seen one land, so who knows? Well, if they have a force, they'll probably force Jace, I imagine. There we go. There we go. There we go. Or they're just taking forever for no reason. Another Mox gets me to that combo level faster. Let's see. Oh, I should have. You know what? Actually, I'm gonna you. I'm gonna play the Mox and leave a blue up in case I draw like a Ponder or a um, draw three Ancestral. Assuming this even resolves, which it may not. Oh, okay. Yeah, that sucks. That certainly sucks. So they did have it. That's fine. They had to use two cards. All right, we'll see how this goes. They they have a little bit of a leg up because all my cards were mana. Looks like they got some sort of what are this what is this color combo? Is this Grixis? If it's blue, black, red, I can't remember. No oh, mana drain. I've had worse cards. Getting I'm only one blue away from Soulfire mana drain. So I may be hesitant to counter unless it's something really good. Yeah, I could see trying to draft on Arena. I also just think maybe this stream isn't the place for magic. I mean, I've had some viewers who have enjoyed it, but I think it might be better to go with, to try to get back to those NES games. There's a lot of NES to play. Okay, this is not the worst. I mean, oh, can they activate this one blue? No, they cannot. Ooh, Ashiok. Ashiok with counter backup is quite good. All right, let's do this. Let's attack. Ashiok is sneaky as hell in cube or in any limited format. Whoa, scoop to it, okay. Yeah, that's what I'm finding, Brooke. Especially with this format, like, magic streaming works for people who really know magic. Could consider Animate Dead in a removal e deck. Is there anything I don't like? Days, you know, days might actually be bad. Because you're right, they have so much mana. I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to swap that out. Is Disenchant good? Um... I don't know. I mean, they have a lot of mana rocks to kill, but I love Disenchant as a sideboard card in cube um, and maybe even main deck because there's so many good artifacts. Yeah, yeah, I hear you in Gino. Oh, well, live and learn. I Yeah, I think it'll be better to do N NES. Maybe, you know, I may even have time because, you know, not a lot of people showed up for this one. It could be either the time... It's probably more the time, but also I think the magic is tough to, for some people to follow. Um, but even yesterday I played magic and I had more because I think it needs to be later in the day. Anyway, the point is I may be able to stream again today and, and get back to some NES. I want to play Battletoads. I want to play – there's so much I want to play. I want to play Mario's. I just realized too, by the way, that I can buy the, the Mario Lost Levels for Famicom and play it on my thingy. That would be super fun. Um, so yeah, I got a lot of NES to play. Maybe I'll leave magic for a, for another, uh, play, I'll leave magic for myself or something. Or, um, I, the other idea was I was going to like, you know, I can upload these on YouTube and see if, if I can get any sort of magic playing audience, but I don't know if I'm good enough for anyone to give a shit about it. The idea is to try to be like a little bit decent. Oh, I, I ordered the NES Bible game. It's coming. I was shipping. Everything that needs to be shipped to me is taking forever, so it's coming. That one I'm gonna I'm gonna do stuff with. Don't don't you worry. I can't wait. Uh do oh, does anyone think I want disenchant? 
Brooke, do you think Disenchant is any good? Is it better than anything? Uh, is Disenchant better than any of my other cards? Not really. Yeah, fuck it. All right. Well, I'm up one, one nothing in this one. I could go, could go two one again. That'd be pretty cool. Um, I'm on the draw. I mean, I don't, I don't like super love this hand. I think I'll keep this. I think I probably just ponder turn one and look for something. And then I also have the scalding turn to shuffle off my ponder and play mana drain turn two. But this might just be too conventional a start. Might be too slow a start for this format. We'll see. I, I don't hate the land. I think I'm pondering. Yeah. Because I got so many two drops to play. Um, well, God, this is this is one of those reasons actually playing ponder early is pretty bad because I don't know what I need right now. I mean, time walk is always good, but actually I don't need time walk as much with Spellseeker. Then again, using Spellseeker for um, the draw three, Ancestral Recall is good. I mean, Dark Confidant is a, an okay card. I don't really have much disruption. I mean, I have Mana Drain in my hand. So this was just a bad ponder, honestly. This wasn't a good... Maybe I just need land. I, I don't know. I might keep this, though. Like, this isn't terrible. Like, if I go land, confidant, time walk. Can I stack the confidant trigger if I play it turn two? Stack it with what? Sorry, I'm not understanding. This is fine. Honestly, what's going to be key is I leave up mana drain next turn, and we'll see what happens. So you flip the land the turn after. Yeah, I'm, I'm not terribly concerned about that. I mean, I could have. Yeah, I definitely could have done that. Well, I'm not playing, um, but I'm not playing Confidant this turn, so no. Because I'm, I need to leave up mana drain. They aren't doing anything either, so. I almost need, I almost need more land. Yeah, that was a bad, I probably should have just not bothered playing Ponder. I, I think that was probably a bad play. I'm just kind of sitting here hoping to counter something. I'm not count. well, no, I'm not countering that. Oh, you're right. Fucking A. I forgot I kept the land on top. I'm getting a little hungry and confused here. Well, I'm not fetching, so that's good. Uh, I I mean, I'm I'm content to draw go. I have, I mean, I have a killer, and next turn I can play a two drop and leave up. Mana drain, yeah. I mean, I have a killer hand. I've got great cards. I mean, they have a little more mana. Um, but this could be okay. What am I looking to do long term here? Uh, I do have my time walk. I have spell seeker to find a time walk. I need my creature. Excuse me. I need my creature, my combo creature. But I mean, next turn I can just stick. Oh, nice, good, Gino. Next turn I can just stick either a Jace or a Confidant and still have Mana Drain. Or if I Mana Drain something big here. Well, not that. Okay, play something big with your mana. They shouldn't. <laughs> they definitely shouldn't play something big here. But they might have counter backup or... Oh, man. Countering whatever this is. And I imagine they have counter backup, but I will try. Sorry, you can hear my messenger in the background. Uh, okay, well, there's no choice. I have to counter that. And if I if it doesn't work, then I have no hand. Oh my, okay. They might scoop, honestly. Uh, I think I fetch. Yeah. They might scoop to that. Oh, I forgot I didn't have my, yeah, whatever. That's insane. Because I get, don't I get seven? Eight? Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Um, that's there's too much, too much good to do. And I know they don't have a counter because they would have countered. Well, actually, they could, they could still have that one that you can play for free on my turn, but not their turn. Um, whatever that one's called, that's a possibility. So with all this mana, I can dump it into a mole drifter. I can time walk. Yeah, Spellbreaker for Ancestral is a consideration for sure. Uh, yeah. How much mana do I actually have? I have right now 12. Yeah, I like that. I mean, that was what I was thinking of doing. I, I think I'll go with that. Oh, and they don't have it. They definitely don't have a counter. Uh, I, oh, I can also vamp. I forgot about that. Wait, can I win? Oh, no, because I would need to play the time walk. I always forget about vamp. I could vamp. Oh, I already... Did I play a land? Yeah, I don't, I don't have a black source. That was stupid of me. Um, Ancestral. If I can stick Jace, then I could double time walk later. Yeah, let's Ancestral. I don't think I'm playing this perfectly. Right, I, di I did play my land. Yeah, okay. Oh, me. I love how it's choose target play. can sometimes mill them out with that. Oh, do they have that counter? Maybe they do. Okay, they might have that miss, or what is that one called? The one that you can play for free. Uh, they might have that actually. And that would be why they couldn't counter mind twist or my counter to mind twist. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and say it's like certain that they have that pretty much. Yeah, exactly. Well, but, Oh, yeah, so if they have the auto yield, it would still auto yield to a creature. Got it. <coughs> My thinking was they would have turned the auto yield off, uh, but no, I guess they wouldn't. Yeah, force negation. Yeah, they have it. Okay. That's fine, actually. I'm not too broken up about that because I can still go. Oh, wait, this costs seven. and I Yeah. So I can still go this and time walk. Yeah, is that best? I think so. Or I can just do this and see what we draw. Thirst for Knowledge, pretty good. I think I'll time walk, though. Because I can always Jace to get the other time walk. And I have the other Jace, by the way, to bounce Spellseeker and do stuff. I got, I got stuff to do. Not as much mana now, though. Uh... Do I? Th oh, yeah. Well, and now I'm mana drain for anything they have. Let's just set up for next turn. Let's attack. Um, I have one, two, I have five mana. Confidant's pretty good. Uh, leaving up thirst is pretty good. Like honestly, I could just leave up thirst and mana drain, but I kind of want to have Jace ready. So why don't I do that? So then why don't I? Jace, yeah, Jace, Watery Grave, leave up Mana Drain. I think that's what I want to do. Yeah, I'm, I'm now I'm set up pretty nicely. What do they have to uh, exile for Force Energy? Oh, Glenolendra, God, I'm glad they exiled that. Glenolendra just wrecks me because I have no removal in this deck, really. I mean, I, I have Jace, I guess, if I already have a Jace down. I might just peck them to death, you know? Like, they're at 13 and they have a mana crypt or whatever. Man and mana vault. I'm pretty much mana draining whatever. Well, that's not true. I do want to try to... If it's something that's not going to affect the game, I do want to save my mana drain as much as possible. Always save your counters if you can. That's my... I think that's the best way to do it. You want to counter only stuff that's absolutely going to... See, like, I don't think I counter that. I just don't think I do. I want to counter something that's going to win the game. This doesn't... I mean, I want my Jace, but, like, I don't... I, I mean, what do you think, Brooke? Would you counter that? I, I don't think I should. Like, I think it's... I think I'm winning and saving the Mana Drain for something I absolutely need is just better. I mean, I this gets me an extra time walk. I don't know. That's a... that. It, this is a close call. I might almost talk myself into countering it, actually. What do you think? 
Yeah, I, I don't think I need to. Plus, I could save this for removal on my Soulfire Grandmaster or whatever. Like, yeah, I, I just don't need to do that. I'm ahead. They have one card. I have Thirst. I have Confidant. Yeah. All right, we're going to win this match, and then I'm going to go, and then I'm going to see if I can stream NES later. I know it's a lot of streaming for one day, but I think uh, more people can watch later. Not many people can watch right now. Oh, he left a while ago. Ooh, Ashiok. I love, love me some Ashiok. Can I play that? Let's see. Well, let's commence pecking. Yeah, this wasn't... Uh, Aaron Aaron was very kind to stay for as long as he did. This is not a good format to have a guest on. <laughs> this one doesn't work. Because I, I was thinking, like, times when I have to focus, it's good to have a guest because they can talk. But I also have to try to explain what's happening because it's way too fucking complicated. So this is not a good guest format. That's on me. I'm still learning. Just started the stream. I hope uh, Aaron had an okay time. But uh, we got to get Aaron back for Portal 2 and finish that out. That'll be tons of fun. So five, six mana... Um, I can Ashiok. Ashiok is a good finisher, but honestly, I'm going to peck him to death pretty soon. I kind of want a confidant leave Mana Drain Thirst up. Because I think I'm going to peck him to death long before I Ashiok, so. And in fact, if they lose more life, they might be dead next turn. Yep. <laughs> well, now they're dead on board. So now I counter... They're just dead. <laughs> I just got to counter any game-changing uh, things here. They might just scoop because they, they've shown they're fast scoopers. Oh, okay. What do we got here? Okay, what is this? I don't know this card. Exile, two in a single graveyard. Exile each. Exile target non-land permanent. That doesn't matter. <laughs> hey, two and one again, folks. I am four and two, essentially. That's pretty good. I like two and one. That means I get to draft again. All right. Thanks so much. I, I am victorious. That time I got to play more magic. Last night, I didn't really play much. Yeah, I hear you, 255 AD, but I, I don't, I don't know. I'm not, yeah, maybe I'll just stream all day, every day, forever. <laughs> I don't know. No, I really want, well, I want to stream longer and get, um, that's true, Brooke. I, I want to get. I want to make progress on these NES games. That are like just for for me. Like I want to beat fucking Battletoads so bad. Um, but thank you for watching. We went two and one again. It was a good two and one. The second deck, uh, the second match, I won a game, a pretty hard fought game. But they were a good deck and uh, they were also a good player. So they uh, they they won that. But uh, proud proud of that draft. Pretty fun. Thanks so much. I will be on. Uh, I think I'm gonna try to stream later and try to make Battletoads progress. So tune in for that. I hope, and I will see you folks then.